Hey Louise Dominique, I want to share with you this project I just finished. I made five videos for, you'll say, what, five videos for that tiny thing? Yeah, because my uh, little chip is so small, it doesn't take more than 27 minutes. So I made five videos in French uh, for uh, the tutorials. I will be making a tutorial soon in English, I would say in November sometime. Because uh, next week I'm leaving for two weeks, so I'll be back and then uh, I'll be making a couple of uh, tutorials that I've been asked and uh, so you'll have all the tutorials you need to, to have. So this here I used uh, the um, Wild and Free from Prima Marketing. Uh, it's uh, Frank Garcia. I have used pretty much all the 6x6. Six six. I used the cards that were in the back here. I didn't use any. I never used any of the, uh, the alphabet. I used just the one sticker. So I'm leaving this. I'm keeping this for another project. I wanted to keep this sheet because I like uh, the banners and all these little cards. I wanted to keep this sheet here because of the borders. I wanted to keep this one for all the tiny little cards and this one because I like the design for the cover of an album. So I wanted to keep that for another project. So you probably have seen already this little book I made for my friend. Um, so it's the same except one thing I did is I made the spine a little bit larger. So like a quarter of an inch more. As you can see, just a little bit more. And it made a big difference because I think this is pretty tight, but it doesn't matter because once she puts the photos, uh, the, the bow will be just a little looser and the book will open. That's okay. So this is it. So here I have covered a piece of chibordo paper and I put my pico underneath and also underneath I have put some uh, cheesecloth that I have uh, coffee dyed. Put some here too, underneath this little uh, image that I really, really like. I like the lady here, of course, everybody that <laughs> uses this paper uses this lady, this lady for always for a very uh, specific, very nice spot because she is so beautiful. She reminds me of my mother. She looks like my mother a little bit. And I like the, the way that uh, on the cut, up, cut aparts, uh, this here with the, uh, the postcard and those little borders I thought was so cute. So I kept the whole thing. And then I put some stickles, black stickles, around the, the frame of those papers. And here around her little crown, she has her little headband and flowers and this piece here that hangs. So I thought that was cute. And also I put some stickles on the, uh, the flower here and on the roses here. This is a little trim that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. I really like it. I had bought the wider one for really cheap because they were the Hobby Lobby uh, that I uh, went last summer. They were clearing that. I should have bought everything they had because I, it's amazing. I really, really love it. It's always perfect for the, the vintage uh, books that I make. So this one I bought at my uh, Hobby Lobby right here at my winter house. And it's, it's tinier. I mean, it's not as wide, but it's just as nice. I put some uh, lace here and then uh, I put some of these rose trim. And this is the back, one of the chipboard. I have the chipboard uh, pieces as well, so I'm going to show you. But I haven't used them because I couldn't find them in my stash, but I finally found them. And uh, I'm going to make my next project, I use this paper, I'm going to make a shaker. Because I have all those little uh, sequins. So these are all the nice uh, chipboard pieces. Very nice. So I'm going to use that on my next project. So let's go inside. It's very simple. It's got four sections. The first section is the front cover. Uh, second section is two pages here. This is just the one sheet that I folded properly so that I ha and I glued it on the spine. The third section is just the book, uh, I mean journal book. And the fourth section is the inside of the cover. So here, of course, I always have my file here on the front. So what I did is I put uh, one of the pieces, uh, this is what I like so much. Uh, I put it here, I put it here, I put it here, I put it everywhere. I think there's more somewhere. And I just make a um, uh, side pocket and these little cards that were in the paper collection, I just folded them into and made a little booklet. And here there's a tuck spot, but I want to glue underneath here because I don't want it to be open on the side because then people can make something, put something there and then it would, wouldn't fold, would probably fold the photo. So I'm going to glue that and make just a corner tuck spot. And here I have two level with four envelope file. In the back I have this cute card that I made that I got inspired by Claire from my creative spirit. She makes those cards where you can tuck something underneath in there because it's only glued on the two sides. And also each cover, the front and the back, are in an uh, on-page pocket. I call it my liner. I made a liner so it makes a pocket so I just made this simple card to go in there. 
so next page next section is these two pages so here I have I had this scrap that was like this I said okay I'm gonna use that because I wanted to uh, make kind of something like a pocket so I just uh, fussy cut with my scissors around to make it kind of crooked and I glued a piece of the um, cardstock underneath like just an L shape like this so that it would give some uh, some uh, not thickness but uh, make it loose so that the cards go inside easily and I put two cards there and I just glued that with a piece of the cheese cloth and you open here here you have a magnet again my little lady I like so much here I use the cut up uh, the cutouts that they have and then you just tuck something underneath here just little papers doesn't have to be a photo it could be tiny photos or little memos whatever just put that there I'm gonna glue this corner here I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, a drop of uh, glue just on the corner so that it doesn't fray so it opens like this here you have a tuck spot here you have this sideways waterfall and they can put a couple photos here so it goes like this this is fun to make and then uh, the next page here I have a pocket with this card I used some scrap I had this nice uh, border and it opens like this this is the leftover that I had from the eight and, uh, eight and a half by eleven so this is the eleven side so I folded like this and this and I had this extra so I just folded it here I made two pockets so you can put something in here and here but if you put the, the card on top of the flap then it, it keeps the flap closed which I like here just plain and this plain because I love the paper and here I made uh, this is the the section that is the journaling section so I just made a side pocket and I'm added in brown here and here I popped this with chipboard underneath this little card and here just uh, it was busy enough so I didn't add anything so just a side pocket and here in the back just a tuck spot put a card there last section the inside of the cover first I have this little uh, pocket that I made I use again this little lady that I like so much and then it's just the envelope closure and you open that that's my envelope page that I like making so much open like this and like this so photo spot here photo spot here uh, here's a pocket here you have photo mat photo mat this I would leave there photo here and then here you have a pocket that goes all the way down to here and then that pocket right here just to put a little tiny little thing I could put a couple cutouts that I have here just cute ones I might do that and that's it and then here you have this on page pocket again where you have this card just like the front so that's what it is if you liked it you can click on the thumbs up button if you want to know how to make it uh, you can either watch the French uh, the French version I might try put the translation for English I don't know if it's doable I'm gonna try and see what I can do with that but I will be making the where does this go here I will be making a tutorial in English because I was asked by one of my viewers so I will be making that for you and uh, so stay tuned it will be in uh, November when I come back and uh, so you'll be able to make one of these and they're so much fun to make they're easy and uh, that's that so thank you for watching and until next time happy scrapping bye bye